This is horse chestnut. Now this isn't a native species, but it's naturalised, it's been around in the UK for a lot and it's the sort of thing that you see in parks and gardens and design landscapes quite a lot. So not a real timber tree, not a, not a timber producer, but a very familiar tree in the UK landscape. Most people can identify that very distinctive uh, palmate leaf with all the different components. A um, few things to uh, focus in on to help you identify it, as well as this compound leaf shape like this, there's a very distinctive mechanism where the uh, the leaf sections and the stalks attach onto the stem and if I just take it off there you can see there's a very distinctive uh, sort of horseshoe shaped scar there and, and once this weathers a little bit and starts to uh, darken off it's very fresh at the moment you'll start to get a series of little points that appear little dots that appear and people like to think of that as a horseshoe shape to try you know with the nails in it to try and um, help them remember this is horse chestnut other things that are useful in terms of ID uh, this is opposite buds again so you can see the opposite buds either side and later on in the autumn and winter uh, what starts to become quite distinctive once the leaves are lost these buds get bigger and darker and stickier they can actually get quite quite gluey and you can actually feel the tackiness on the on the buds so at the moment late summer while the leaves are still on quite easy to identify it um, but later on in the winter when the leaves are gone we're looking for opposite buds thick coarse stem with lots of little uh, pit marks on it and these distinctive horseshoe shaped marks where the uh, leaf stalks uh, are removed from the stem the other classic thing of course with horse chestnut this is the source of conkers so in the autumn, you know, everybody knows conkers, everybody knows that distinctive fruit shape, crack them open, brown shiny conkers inside. A um, couple of things to be aware of with horse chestnut in terms of its health and well-being. A couple of diseases and pests and pathogens cycling which are causing big problems with uh, horse chestnut. So don't be surprised to see horse chestnuts looking a little bit sick, looking a little bit brown. This specimen is actually in pretty good nick for late summer it's in good condition but don't be surprised to see them affected by a leaf miner which gets into the leaves and skeletonizes the leaves from the inside so they turn brown and there's also a, um, a more serious problem uh, which is a, a bacterial canker which causes um, mortality in the trees it actually kills the trees after they've uh, been infected so it's having a hard time horse chestnut but it's a very familiar part of our uh, design landscape in the UK